hunt the rancers, robbing the bum. We'll hunt the rancers, Richie the robin. We'll hunt the rancers, Jack of the land. We'll hunt the rancers, everyone. Where are where's the robin the bum? No, where are where's the Richie the robin? Where are where's the Jack of the land? No, where are where's is everyone? In yonder green bush is robin the bum. In yonder green bush is where you get the materials from is from the hedgerow. Uh, you want long, whippy sticks. A broom is good, willow is good, but different types of willow. Some willow is too short. You want something that's quite long, about five feet long. And if you can get longer, you can make a hoop from one piece, but generally you can't. So I make the hoop out of two bendy pieces and tie them together. So these are made out of four, two on each loop as four whippy sticks. This is just a piece of um, sycamore, the handle. And the rest of it, well, I think Fiona got the rest of it. I did. I um, found my garden was rather overgrown, so uh, there's lots of ivy that trails down nicely there, which is the best stuff for using for this. It's, the stalks are quite narrow, so it's easy enough to, uh, to bend them round. The, uh, the crepe paper as well, you'll notice crepe paper, is, you can see the red there, it's red and green in the crepe paper. That's to symbolise the bush as well. It would be the green of the leaves and the berries on the bush and the ribbons which uh, adorn the bush. And they can be given away to people or actually um, they give money for the ribbons for luck. And, um, and last but not least, the little wren in the middle who's hanging there, Oop, oops, hanging there by a wire. Uh, the, the reason for the wren, the reason for the wren is um, the old story was that um, there was a witch in Man, Tehi Tegi, and she um, had all the men of Man in awe of her. They were all struck by her beauty, and they followed her over the hills, down the glens, along the rivers. Nothing was done, but they followed Tehi Tegi. And the beasts were dying in the fields, the crops were dying, and the wives were starving, and they wanted something doing pretty quick about it. So they got Mananan, the god Mananan, sea god, and they said, you've got to do something about this woman. She's ruining the island and ruining our men. So um, they had a big battle. They had it out together. But uh, Mananan won, and um, he banished her to the northern wastelands, the frozen northern wastelands. And she begged, begged to be allowed back once a year. So he conceded mercifully to give her half a day a year on St. Stephen's Day. But he said, on that half a day that you're back in the Isle of Man, once a year, all the men of man can raise sticks and kill you if they catch you. And um, so that's why she made herself what they considered then to be the smallest creature in man, which is a wren, so she's hard to spot. They don't actually kill wrens these days, but no, um, we, we use stuffed <laughs> ones. Nowadays in, on uh, St. Stephen's Day, uh, the custom is to go out to go around the houses and there's a song and there's also a dance. Um, again, the dance has been around for quite a long time but it's changed over the years. It's a circle dance nowadays, obviously like a cage or a bush to keep the wren in and the wren pole is held by somebody, usually a small child, who likes doing that and not dancing uh, and that's held in the middle of the group. And while the group are dancing, um, either you've got people singing uh, or Sometimes we have musicians just playing the tune instead. And again, it's a traditional tune for many years standing as far as I know. The wren, the wren, the, the king, king of all birds. We've caught St. Stephen's Day in the furs. Although he is little, his family is great. We pray you good day, do give us a treat. There. What's your name?